Her eyes a scepter of strength Will come dominion on earth As it has been spoken Who oh, arise and rule As it has been spoken Take your place. Supplies from every joint. Ephesians 4 verse 16. Supplies from every joint. One of the problem we have when it has to do with workforce or serving in God's vineyard is that as long as you feel you are not in the limelight, you feel your work or your service is not relevant. So you tend not to put your heart into it. Nobody is seeing me. Nobody notices me. I'm just behind the laptop there. Yet they don't know if I choose not to project. That's why sometimes you try to make an impact. You know, especially technical members. When, when it's been a long while, the pastor knows that there's a member. They just... Oh, he's preaching. Also, everybody in the church turns. They say, yes, we are here. <laughs> you, they, they do it. Let me display my level of relevance. You don't approach. Let's read the scripture. That's the emphasis scripture. He said, From whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplied, according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, make it increase of the body. Your role is important. You are relevant. You might not be the preacher, but without your singing, there won't be an increase. You might not be the preacher without you being the prayer warrior there won't be an increase you might not be praying you might not be singing without your finances certain progress will not be made every joint supplies every joint supplies the temptation we have is to feel if i'm not the one in the limelight i withdraw my supplies your supply might be that support your time your resources your energy you withdraw it because you feel it's only a papa they see on the screen every joint supplies every joint is relevant your work is important take the ushering department out of the church you will understand how disorganized here can be everybody has their role Let the technical choose not to come to church today we will see whether we will not shout on the top of our voice let them choose not to do their work right you will see how frustrated this service can be Whenever there is a limitation or an embargo on increase, it simply means there is a faulty joint that is not supplying its own resources. When there is a disconnection or a stoppage of blood in any part of your vein, does it affect only that part? It begins to paralyze the whole body. The problem with the church is that it is those joints that has withdrawn their supplies that most of the times decides to make complaint that there is no increase because he feels it is only the head that should be supplying pray in the holy ghost one minute and say lord i will not fail you may it not be that the, the height you have wanted us as a ministry to reach it is because of my own fault i will not fail you i will not fail you hallelujah stop judging the relevance of your role by who is on the limelight have you not read the story of charles Tiffany? All you see is the miracles in his crusade, but it was sponsored by one man called Father Nash, who will go there 40 days to the time and lay hours, months of prayers on that crusade ground. Charles Giffin is stepped into the city. Mighty things are happening. Should Father Nash say, because I'm not the one holding the mic now, then that's not my... No! That's the joint you have been made at that point in time. You must supply your own resources. If that increase you are looking for, you ask yourself, am I playing my own role? Am I taking my work very well? Am I doing what is expected of me? Listen, the problem is when a joint withdraws support, it suffers and burdens another joint. It puts headache somewhere. Every joint supplies. You can see that in the body of Christ, there is, that's why the Bible calls us co-laborers. The Bible says, I'm poor planted, Apollo water, and God gives increase. We now begin to know the planters. The planters are the preachers. They are the ones that sows the seed. And they are very powerful because they sell ideology. They sell ideology. They sell perceptions. Then we have the rainmakers. Who are the rainmakers? The prayer warriors. They are the ones that groan. And say, Lord, may the controlling powers over the city be let loose. May the gospel penetrate. As people come to church this song, they may their hearts be open to hear your word. 
May their heart be open. May their heart be fertilized to receive your word. Then we have the financiers. The Bible says, how can they hear the word? Romans 10. If a preacher is not sent, and how can a preacher be sent without money? That's why he calls us what? Co-laborers with him. He said, we are co-laborers with Christ. Everyone plays a vital role. Once there's a problem, you just put your attention on the pastor. It might be from the rainmakers. Possibly the watchers and the prayer men are sleeping. You think if that Joshua was losing the battle with the Am 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 Amalekites, it will be Joshua's fault alone? Yes, he's supposed to train for the battle. He's supposed to get prepared. But the Bible says that on the mount, Moses' hands must be lifted up. So there are those who, you know, you can begin to celebrate. When they are coming from the battle now, I'm sure people begin to celebrate their Joshua. Say, men of war. But they didn't know there was a Moses there. And not just Moses, because Moses was actually sitting down. They were two men. Those are the financiers. They were the one that made Moses' hands not to grow tired. They said, Pastor, instead of you to be thinking of what to eat, let me take care of your finances monthly. Focus on this gospel. You can't be thinking of how to pay church rent when, when there are souls to be won. There are sick bodies that must be healed. Every joint what? Supplies. Look at the, look at the story of Tabitha. Who the Bible also called Docas in Bible. Our own joint was to what? Be taking care of the widows. So they, are, they won't complain in church that they don't care for them. You left the widows for pastor. Left the poor for pastor. Left prayer for pastor. Left preaching for pastor. Left organization for pastor. It is pastor that is going to bring flyer for program. And you are still the one complaining there is no effectiveness. Because I've told you when you are not participatory, you will be the evaluator to be looking for what? Because you are not part of it. First Samuel 30. Now this was the story of um, the battle David had with the Amalekite. How he went for battle with some of his men. And when he came back, he discovered that the the Amalekite have um, taken over the whole city, bombed everywhere down, took their wives, their properties, and their goods. The Bible says, and David inquired of the Lord, shall I overtake, pursue, will I recover all? You are my obsession. You are my desire. 18 said, and David recovered all that the Amalekite had carried away, and David rescued his two wives. And there was nothing lacking to them, neither small nor great, neither sons nor daughters, neither spoil nor anything that they are taking to them. David recovered all. 21. And David came to the 200 men which were so faint that they could not follow David. He wanted to go, he got to a point some men were tired because he just came from a battle and saw something in the camp and they needed to go for an emergency recovery process. So on their way going, some men got tired, about 200 of them. And David said, okay, no problem. You just stay with what is left behind and watch over it. Do we understand the storyline? Whom they have made also to abide at the brook, Bessel. And they went forth to meet David and to meet the people that were with him. And when David came near to the people, he saluted them. They answered all the wicked men and men of Belial of those that went with David and said, because they went not with us, we will not give them aught of the spoil that we have recovered. Save to every man his wife and his children that they may lead them apart then david said you shall not do so my brethren with that which the lord had given us who had preserved us and delivered the company that came against us for who we acting unto you in this matter but as his part is that goeth down to battle so shall his part be that tarried by the stuff they shall part alike did you see that that's the mindset you must carry. Whether the preacher that is preaching, that is cleaning chairs, there is a reward. David is saying, but, but those that went for this battle, those that stayed behind to watch over the things we kept, everyone give them similar reward. The justice system of God. You felt all the blessings is for the pastor. That's why you withdrew your supplies. If I don't come for this prayer meeting, let me see we pray. Or if you choose to come, you scatter everywhere. They gave prayer point that this is what they should follow. He said the Holy Ghost is talking to you. You know, some things are just, are just wrong. They are just the operation of foundation and ancestral powers. Whatever you are doing, do it with your life. So whether you are in a department, they say we are meeting five. You can't come six. Because the work of ten people is difficult for five people to achieve it. 
you are stressing somebody else a department is contributing each of them say let's contribute we want to buy something ten thousand naira, and we are ten five of you chose not to do how much have they seen five. that means something will suffer because of you you lack understanding of the kingdom you came you saw something not right you don't insult that department they use less ushers and by the way somebody is useless does not mean everything is totally wrong with the person it simply means you are useless you are useful you are used very well different everything i am doing in god's house there is a reward whether my job is that i am supporting financially i am supporting with prayer i am being faithful in my department for instance right now i'm preaching can i be preaching and videoing myself at the same time a department is recording that that message will go out now and touch souls and lives for everyone so on you got a reward for it you were in the one talking on the mic but you made it happen that that message could go out there is a reward don't abuse service carry this understanding this is what makes men last when they are serving god both those that go for battle those that keep watch to make sure the place is in good order the bible says, give them the same every joint supplies he said from whom the whole body fitly joined together and what compacted and that which every joint was supplied according to the effectual working the ability god has given to us your own might be you are a prayer machine sponsoring the work let souls come into the kingdom your own is that you might be the financier you are sponsoring your own is that you can organize you are in one department you make things happen you don't say let me leave it they should do what they can do now it's their business ah you don't speak that way that shouldn't come out of your mouth that's why it is absolutely to join hands with anyone to pull down God's work. When they, even when the pastor is not there, take that challenge like Dockers. Meet that disgruntled person and say, You cannot do it. The person say, Pastor, don't care. You tell the person, But I care. And I'm part of that family. At least a family member care. It mustn't be Pastor that must care the care. There is nothing special about Pastor's love. Dockers, Peter did not even know a woman like that existed in the church. It was at her death that people say this one cannot die. This one cannot. Peter would have thought that it was their preaching and prayer that is keeping the church solid. Members are trooping him. He didn't know that it's by the gifts of Dokas behind the scene. Telling this is Lord, this is my part. They don't need to thank me. They don't need to clap for me. I chose to play this role as long as I'm, I'm, I'm in this body. Widows will not cry under my watch. Do you know at the death of Dokas, during the times of Paul and Paul? They were complaining from widows so you can see how relevant what it looks little but how what she was doing was so powerful helping the church widows begin to fight at chapter six they've neglected us nobody care show the care show concern somebody is weak you know the devil want to take a hold of a brother ha! you fight on your knees you don't say i'm leave there stupid church that's how they used to do and it's like that now they don't have said no you say brother you cannot go no you cannot Bible says and that Noah after building the ark had to persuade animals to begin to get into it that's how we want for souls the Bible says snatching them out of what the fire you don't snatch people by telling them, if you want to go you go now you force them if you need to put food in their mouth to you and say you can't go please let's play our role supply your part let's check ourselves every joint supplies every joint supplies every joint supplies and the beauty of god is that sometimes he makes the joint to, to even in our body even when one person is not paying attention the one person is seeing it so you that saw the challenge provide the solution you don't need to call the attention of the world to know that i'm providing solution now no you do it the god who sees in secret we reward men where in the open if you can't do it i want you to pray one prayer so of us the problem is our heart repair my heart work on my heart repair it it will change the way you approach your work it will change the way you approach your service if i think i'm doing papa no it's the soul i have affected knowing that my inaction and action is contributing to the advancement or decrease of god's kingdom i challenge myself i pray nobody needs to tell me on my own i'm praying on my own nobody begs me it's responsibility i say lord work on my heart 